My name is uh, Sergei Ponomarev. I'm a freelance photographer. I work for uh, many media outlets uh, like uh, Paris Match in France and uh, New York Times in the United States. And uh, I've been working as a staff photographer for a uh, worldwide a, uh, news agency, Associated Press, in the past, but I decided to start my freelance career. I'm based in Moscow and I travel worldwide, uh, almost everywhere, uh, trying to cover mostly the conflicts and wars, but not, not only them. I decided to uh, become a photographer a long time ago when I was studying at school and uh, my father was a journalist and he was uh, uh, taking photographs. So I think everybody at that time uh, was using uh, photography as, as a documentary tool for their families and it wasn't a digital era and you had to develop films and then print them and I was uh, surprised by the magic of uh, photography when you see the uh, white paper in the liquid and then uh, you see the magic how the image is appearing on the on the paper and I was so much surprised by that and I started to make uh, photographs by myself and develop them and uh, step by step I decided to devote myself to photojournalism. To be a good photojournalist you have to correspond with many rules. You have to be ethically clear and uh, you have to uh, tell the truth to people and you don't have to infringe the situation that is going on around you. And your images, the most importantly, have to pick themselves to the public and tell the what's going on there, why, when and um, other questions. I want to talk about one of the images that uh, uh, were awarded a uh, World Press Photo Award. That's the image about the uh, grieving woman that are standing on the stairs of the uh, apartment building in uh, Rafah. As you might know, in the Arab world, women are not allowed to uh, walk the streets themselves and they have to be escorted by men. And uh, during the war, all men were busy with uh, uh, fighting or with uh, funerals or with other activities and they could not uh, pay uh, a lot of attention to their women and uh, they all were sitting at their house. And uh, there was a funeral of one of the fighters who was killed during the bombing and men took him from the uh, mosque and br brought the body just for a few minutes uh, for women to see him and pay his uh, their last tribute to to their neighbor or their relative, it it gives a lot of emotions uh, to tell the story of uh, people who never see on the streets, but they are also are suffering and uh, living in this uh, in this war. The emotions it's uh, it's what makes the big impact on the audience. But for us, it's uh, the, the side story, uh, not the emotions, but small details or uh, the background of the story makes the bigger impact and uh, sometimes the less emotional uh, images are more valuable. And this is what sometimes uh, makes a big difference between what editors or what curators are uh, choosing to show or to publish and uh, what I have in my personal uh, feelings. Like I love these uh, less striking images, but they, they have more story behind them. During my exhibition, uh, which is named Collapse, and uh, the, that will happen uh, in the Iconoclast Gallery since 9th of April, I will show my several stories that I was working since I started my freelance career in 2012. And it would be Afghanistan, Syria, uh, Gaza war and uh, Ukraine conflict. By this exhibition I want to tell that the clever photojournalism sometimes uh, is more powerful than just a fast image, a fast snapshot from the news site. In my career, the World Press Photo Award is a big achievement. Even though um, I'm really sad that uh, I got the award for uh, such a sad uh, story, I would love to get World Press Photo for some beautiful images, for a nature story or for some investigating journalism. As, as I told earlier, 
I worked eight years as a staff photographer with the Associated Press and uh, we were uh, using uh, different brand cameras and uh, when I decided to quit and start my freelance career I found that I have only one uh, Nikon uh, lenses and uh, uh, nothing else, everything was given back to the agency and I decided to uh, buy a Nikon body and started with that. I had a 2470 lens and I bought a D800 and uh, I used them for uh, three years and now changed uh, the equipment to the newer camera D810. That was uh, like the my my best friends for three years.